Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys my top five Cydia tweaks for this month, July of 2012. Now before we get in, I just wanted to say I am bringing back my top five series due to the high number of requests I've received regarding Cydia, and more specifically, the packages inside of Cydia. And this video will go over five interesting and useful free tweaks you can get that's outside of the normal typical packages anybody will tell you to get, such as SB settings or winter board. All right, now let's go ahead and just start with the simplest and easiest tweak, that is just unfold. Now, you'll notice that when I go to unlock my iPod Touch here, instead of having slide to unlock, it does say fold to unlock, and it gives you a really nice and crisp animation. So this is a really great tweak. Again, it is free inside of Cydia, and all of these packages that I'm talking about today will be free, and you don't have to add any extra repos. All you have to do is just go inside of Cydia and search for them, and you will be able to install them. Now this one, again, is called unfold and it gives it an improved animation also it preserves the ability to slide up to access camera functionality all right moving on let's go ahead and take a look at the second tweak this one's called Zeppelin, and you might not guess by the name, but it replaces your carrier with a logo of your choice. And once Zeppelin is actually installed, you can download hundreds of additional logos through the Zeppelin add-ons section inside of Cydia down below at the bottom there. All you have to do is go to sections, Zeppelin, and then you can choose from, again, over 300 different options. So let's go ahead and go into Zeppelin and change the theme. I actually am just going to change it to Apple really quick. So as you can see, it did change it to the Apple logo. Scrolling down here, I'm just going to change it to BMW. This is one that I actually downloaded from Cydia just to show you guys and just to give you guys a quick example. No respring required. All right, now for the third tweak, we have swipe selection. There are no settings to configure for this tweak. All you'd have to do is go to a field where you normally enter text. As you can see, I've already typed up a quick note here. And what you do is you just bring up the keyboard and then simply tap tap on any of the keys of the keyboard and then swipe and it will actually move the cursor to where you're swiping. So this is a much easier and much more efficient way to actually select different text and to actually move the cursor back. And it's actually more precise if you were to tap somewhere and it's quicker than actually bringing up the magnifying glass to get your fine selection. Also if you want to actually select something, what you can do is you can hold down the shift and caps locks key and then move across the keys. And and then you can actually highlight whatever you want. Also, if you were to use two fingers, it does go slightly faster. However, with the iPhone and with the iPod Touch, it's more difficult to do than with the iPad because as you can see, when I actually try and do it, I accidentally type a letter. However, if I were to just use one finger, that's not the case. So this is a really great tweak. It's probably better on the iPad. However, I still find it extremely useful. And I use it in everyday situations. All right, now for the last two tweaks, they're actually related to notifications. All right, now let me do a quick demonstration you might not notice at first however what it does is it actually kind of moves the screen down so your notification doesn't really cover anything it doubles the size of the notification banner and again it moves the screen down more than by default okay now as you can see I sent out this test right here and it moved the screen down more so it isn't covering the icons however you'll really notice it if I actually go inside of the Cydia application because there are some buttons up there at the top let me go ahead and send just another test I message and you'll notice it here. All right, now as you can see, it does actually bring down the top there. It has a little bit of lag because it goes by default at first and then it moves it down. So as you can see, you do have access to the status bar buttons even when you're receiving a notification. So you don't accidentally tap into the notification when trying to hit one of the buttons instead. So it's really simple, really easy, and it's just one of those great tweaks to have. All right, now finally for the fifth tweak, we have IP sum. Now again, I said this one is also related to receiving notifications. So let me just send another test notification. All right now, as you can see, I have my notification right here on the lock screen. And what you can do with IP sum is actually slide all the way forward and then slide all the way back. You'll notice instead of the green messages icon right there, instead of the green iMessage icon, it will actually turn red. And then when you swipe it all the way back and then let go, it will actually go away and it will kind of dismiss your notification. Now, if you were to go inside of the settings application, all you have to do is scroll down towards the bottom, go to IP sum, and you have two 
toggles for it. You have the option to enable it or disable it, and you also have the option to enable remove badge so that when you swipe away to dismiss your notification on the lock screen, it doesn't update the badge for the specific app that you receive the notification for. It simply ignores that notification and doesn't add to your badge count. So you can enable that if you want as well. Let's just go ahead and do one last test for IP sum. All right, now that we have our notification here on the lock screen, again, you just swipe like you're going to reply to it or like you're going to view the notification and then just swipe backwards and release and your notification is dismissed. All right, now I hope you guys liked this video. Of course, if you liked it and if it helped you out, be sure to rate it up, leave any comments down below in the comments section, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be updated every time I release new videos. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.